Good evening and welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, honestly, Mohua Maitra seems to be staring down the barrel of her made up, propped up political career, which is going nowhere, in my opinion. The Hiranandani Act of not personally confirming the affidavits claims yesterday have also gone bust because the Ethics Committee of Parliament has come out and confirmed it. The Ethics Committee of Parliament has confirmed that this controversial MP Mahua Maitra has been accused of taking payoffs, of being paid by a corporate group, of taking luxury gifts, items, getting her house furnished, getting her foreign holidays paid for by a corporate group in turn for selling her parliamentary login access. Nothing can be worse than this, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing can be more shameful than a charge like this. Now, she has been tracked by Republic Bangla in Nodia in Bengal. And she scurried into the car, dodging Republic Bangla's questions. In fact, the only response from this very controversial person facing this shameful allegation, Mahua Maitra, to all of this seems to have gone from some jilted ex-boyfriend theory to a claim now that the apparent whistleblower in all of this stole her dog. The reality is Mohua Moitro has not even been able to deny that she has carried out a scam like this. The fundamental thing is she's talking of all kinds of arbit things. She's not even been able to say that no. I did not take foreign holidays. That no, I was not taking luxury items, gifts, getting my house renovated by this corporate group and in turn selling the access as a parliamentarian to a corporate group for their private and corporate use. The allegation so serious, ladies and gentlemen, that she's some kind of a corporate political mercenary. And she's not been able to deny it. Ladies and gentlemen, an allegation that an MP was actually a corporate plant is a shameful allegation. And we are talking about whether this person, Mohua Moitra, was being bribed by gifts, bribed in exchange for corporates to feed in their questions in the Lok Sabha. We are talking about whether this person, Mahua Maitra, was taking inducements, renovations of her bungalows, corporate paid foreign holidays in turn for being a corporate handmaiden. Shameful. Was a democratically elected seat in this country traded for and sold effectively in such a ridiculous manner to a corporate entity which has now acknowledged that yes, it did this. These are not questions that the Trinamool or Mahua or the Lutians media can shy away from. Now they say, no, no, but she abuses Narendra Modi. So if she abuses the Prime Minister of India, she must be right. This is the attitude you see of the Lutians media. Fact is, you would remember viewers, the Neera Radia scam. You remember all those names who came out at that time. All initially tried to deny it. All of them. You know what happened to them. After the Neera Radia scam, this scam is the next. And several people, including Latians, has been caught with their hand in the cookie jar of nepotism and corruption. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a big Republic news break this week. And as you know about Republic news breaks, they don't go away easily. Debate number one tonight, the controversial Mahua Maitra accused of being a corporate political mercenary in one of the most shameful payoff scams that the Parliament of India has ever seen.